Hey everybody, I've heard so much about this particular place that I thought I'd better come down and check it out and tell you what I think about their burgers. Wow, yes, I've been to Yo My Goodness. That's that's not Y-O-N-G, that's Yo My Goodness. Yes, lots of people saying their burgers are quite extraordinary. So, I thought I'd give it a try. And what I've done is I've got their basic burger because I figure I start off with the basics and work my way work, work my way up. And so that means I got the Yo Mai with the cheese for nine dollars fifty. So it's expensive. Yes, I know that. So does the flavour make up for the price? Well, we will soon find out. It's uh, basically advertised as a gourmet outlet, so we'll be looking for something quite special here for it to get some kind of special award from good old me. There it is. Sesame seed type bun. Not too much bun, and it looks like a reasonable amount of ingredients. So we're looking at basic stuff, just a beef patty with lettuce, special secret sauce, uh, tomato and cheese. And the cheese looks like it's well and truly melted into the beef patty. And the beef patty looks a decent size, bigger than what you'd get from Macca's or Hungry Jack's in thickness. And it is the complete width of the bun. That's the beef patty. So it's reaching to both sides. So what do you think? $9.50? It better be something really good. Let's find out. I can tell straight away that this is something good. And certainly, as far as taste goes, it's going to be something worth trying, at least to get an idea. It gives a really good idea of how to judge other burgers from bigger outlets. Because you're expecting something a bit better from these, it always sets a higher standard for those other outlets to rise up to. Yo My Goodness is here in Glen Waverley and they also have a couple of other stores but it's really interesting to see the number of places that are coming that are being um, franchised out whatever appearing here and there in shopping strips like here at Glen Waverley not not in the major shopping area but in the shopping shopping strip part of Glen Waverley and as I was walking towards Yo My, My Goodness there's a little hole in the wall and people lining up for burgers from another joint I saw. So there's just so many places here in Melbourne that are getting into the whole burger action and coming up with their own varieties. And it's really exciting what's going on. It's a bit like what ha has happened here in Melbourne uh, in regard to coffee. The burger thing is really taking off. It's great. This is tasting really good. That sauce is slightly different, but it's got a very tomato-y taste about it, and it's very nice. I like it. Not sure about the sauce on the bottom, as in I'm not sure what it is. That might be their special sauce. I better have a read up about that. Ketchup on top, the red stuff, and on the bottom is their secret sauce. Interesting. Otherwise, it's just the double oh, double cheese. Okay, beef, one, one beef patty, it's actually got double cheese. It's all melted together. So there's quite a hunk of cheese in there with lettuce and tomato. So yes, it is a cheese burger. 
At the top of the range from Yo yeah, My Goodness is the muffler at $16.50 and it's a beef chicken double cheese with bacon, pickles, onion fries and barbecue sauce and mayo. So it's got the works included in it. It would be interesting to see how much bigger and how much more tasty it is than this one because it's not a huge jump from $9.50, this one, to $16.50, the muffler. And there's lots of variations in between that with all sorts of other types of burgers as well. So there's lots of variety if you ever come here. Well, at the halfway point I can tell you that the 8-bit burger was still, is still my benchmark burger. This one's up there, but that cheeseburger from 8-bit was pretty sensational. Wow. One little thing that's standing out about this is it's quite salty. Now, I don't know if that's the sauces or the meat patty, but it's definitely quite salty. Well, there you go. That was really worth trying, and I'm going to call it, uh, yeah, this is really good. It's a, a great burger, maybe a little bit pricey for what you actually end up getting. I'd say it's a healthy, nutritious, and quite tasty option. If you're ever down in Glen Waverley, or one of their other outlets, give them a go and tell me what you think. Yo my goodness, yeah, a good burger. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you again very soon. Bye. Mm. Now I'm angry. Wow. It's huge.